Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. When I was in Loveland, Colorado at the Overland Expo Mountain West, I did a walk around and videoed some of my favorite vendors, or I thought were noteworthy, to share with you guys. So y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Tell me a little bit about this. Um, yeah, so it is a separating toilet and it just separates your number one from your number two. And to clean it, you just have your urine canister here and the urine will go in. Hey, quit doing the ice. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you're, you're covering her up. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know it was <laughs> Action on the set! Quiet! <laughs> so yeah, so when you're going, it opens up and then closes after, so that no smell is getting out, and if you're driving, there's no backsplash. Yeah. Um, so you pretty much, when you need to empty it, since there's no chemicals used, you can take it to any public rest stop if you're in the bathroom, just dump it. Just like my pee bottle in my little trailer. Yeah, basically. <laughs> It's because I don't want to get out of the trailer and go pee. Yeah. So and plus, I'm old. I have to do it two or three <laughs> times. And have that. Yeah, and you can also buy these by yourself. So darn that. I don't have room in my trailer for it. But my new van that I'm building might. So. But I don't know about this short one. It'd have to be. Yeah, so this one, yeah, this small kind of a start type for one that we're kind of looking at selling in the U.S. My we're grandkids going to do like. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, it's very <laughs> But um, yeah, so we just brought it to see how it should go. Yeah, it's the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, this so is the one that we need to sell. It comes in three okay. sizes. Perfect. So, so how much yeah, do they run? Told, this one? Yeah, I like singles. Yeah, I find it all over the large. Yeah, are you doing show specials? We are, yes. Um, I know. I can enter a raffle and either win a free toilet or get $40 off. All right, I'll do a raffle. Uh, so, so you just, yeah, you can scan me. Uh, yeah, you can just scan through my there, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You, know, you just contact You get entered in the raffle. Free's always good. Yeah. <laughs> A well stocked kitchen. Real important you share that. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. We met you last year. You did? Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, getting ready to move into a van instead of a motorcycle. Okay. Oh, there you go. That's great. Oh, yeah. I have a question. That's why I stopped here. Um, I'm looking for a unit, and it may have to be purchased separately, um, that will also automatically, without me flipping things, We'll charge off the alternator to the battery and then also the sun with the solar. You all have something like that? It would be solar charger and a DC to DC. You want to it? So it's separate because there are companies that sell one whole unit. Yeah, that's a debate that's kind of been ongoing. The advantage of having two separate doesn't take up much more space, if any. It doesn't really require much more labor, but you have the advantage of if one of them goes down, you got the other. Oh, they're that back for Well, that thing is huge. So, so we got different size. We got smaller ones. Yeah. You see the DC chuck? Mine is, uh, that's what that is. Yes, DC. Yep. This is the older model. There's a newer one that's uh, much smaller. <laughs> Good, there you go. 
All right. How can we help? I don't know. Thank you. Hey, Appreciate thank it. You. you can go wash my rig. You want to help us out? That costs <laughs> extra, man. Oh, does it? Yeah, buy me lunch. <laughs> That might be worth it, actually. <laughs> you don't know what you're getting into. <laughs> How big's your rig? <laughs> it's not that big, but you it's pretty you're dirty. Buying for lunch, I guess. It's a motorcycle and a camper trailer. Okay. And it's, That's awesome, though. Well, thank you. I've been on the road full time for six years, raising awareness and money for the cure to diabetes in memory of my son. That's the motorcycle and the trailer. First of all, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I but, appreciate it. But that's a very cool and honorable thing to do. Well, but, thank you. I appreciate it. Good choice. So what do y'all do here? So. Uh, we're a team at, and this is grid-based cargo organization. Fundamentally, we're helping people manage their cargo by selling them these maps yeah. that then integrate with a ton of different equipment. So this right here is a Milwaukee Packout rolling toolbox. So just to give you an example, we got wheel cribs. Yeah. You can see them right down there on the table. Yeah. And so you can just roll your pack out where you want it to go. Take one of our adjustable blockers plug it into that anywhere you need to be and then keeps your your cargo from moving that's cool. sliding around the bed of your truck your van so how Packs. hard is that to clean out i could see dirt getting in there yeah so dirt can get in here a lot of times like if it's in the back of a truck or something that's, that's uh got some airflow it flies right out to be honest with well, you well even in my trailer yeah there's so, dirt on the floor all the time right so two ways that, that i probably recommend one is you could go with an air compressor if you wanted to and run it down or shop back and number two is Hit it with a with a garden hose, really light. And it's about 20 pounds That's all assembled, and so with like a truck, you just slide right out of the bed of your truck and just hit it with the garden hose. Oh, okay. So it's not too hard to maneuver. Shop back works really well. So as as far as function goes, dirt doesn't really affect it too much because we've got these holes underneath there. Yeah. So it funnels the dirt into the center of the holes. It takes a lot of dirt or rocks to have any impact at all on the blockers themselves. Yeah. But because Damn. It does happen. You get dirt in the your in the yeah. bed of your truck. You know, it's really easy to slide out, wash down, flip it over, whatever you might want to do. Cool. So, so how do people find you if they're not here at the show? Uh, right now, people find us on Instagram. On a, a oh, am I being recorded right now? Have you been recorded the whole time? The whole time. Well, cool. So Instagram, we get a lot of people following us on Instagram. So what is your Instagram? Uh, Tmat Products. And do you have a website? Yeah, Tmat.com. Do you have a YouTube site? Uh, we do have a YouTube as well. Uh, Tmat Products as well on YouTube. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Man, that was hard to drag out of you. I'm sorry, I didn't know I was recording. <laughs> I thought he was, was like uh, holding around. He had somewhere else to go or something. Oh no, I'm recording. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for helping us out, giving us a little bit of yeah. I'll give you a shout out. Exposure, appreciate it. All righty, you take care. I appreciate it. Is there anything I can do for you? Let me know. I certainly will. And thank you so much for sharing this, uh, what you do with me, which I put on the other side of the table. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. Yeah, if you're if you watch YouTube videos, go watch them because they pay me good. Would they be going into? It, it will be going into an Astro van. Okay. Actually, yeah, so you can kind of get into, I mean, this is probably my favorite here. It's a GC2 footprint. Okay. So it's a 162 that's amp hour. Right there. <laughs> it's got all the internal heat, CAN bus, and Bluetooth in it. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, Very cool. Yeah, so VHC heating, it's a technology we developed, uh, patent pending on it. So does it, do you have to turn it on or does it stay on all the time? You can do both. You can turn it on or turn it off. It depends on cold weather. I mean, if you're not going to be, you know, below 32 degrees, I wouldn't even, you know, turn it on. So it's mostly, you know, if you're going to be in colder weather for. Well, I I usually try to stay out of yeah. cold weather. Yeah. QR codes. QR codes. Yeah. So these are spec sheets for you know the different batteries we have. Yeah. I'm Rex, by the way. Casey. Nice to meet you, Casey. Yes, sir. And how much do these run here? This so we, they're starting, yeah. you know, anywhere from that, you know, eight hundred dollars. You know, okay. Uh, this one retails for thirteen ninety nine. Um, our hundred amp hours, you know, about a thousand bucks, nine ninety nine on that one.
much do they, they run? Um, the basic fire pit like that, the dual burner powder coated one. Yeah. 180 for just the fire pit. It's um like 250 is a whole package. So well, that's not too bad. No, and that would come with the bag and the stand that's also a grill top, the five foot hose with the regulator and oh, yeah. Sleep well last night? Yeah. I'm sure you always do. You're doing some classes, right? Because I remember seeing the, something about the Vista or the gold wing with the trailer. Yeah, I'm doing one here in about at three o'clock. So okay. I'm heading over that way. What's it on? Uh, my travels and okay. trailer. How many trailers I've been through? How many motorcycles? <laughs> so, how many trailers? Two. This is your second one? Yeah. Two bikes. How many miles? This one almost has 100,000 on it. The other one had 200,000. Another motorcycle took it out. So. Oh, really? Yeah. That's turning left and he went. Ow. Totaled the bike. Looks like you're okay from it, so that's good. Yeah, I only had a scratch. He had a broken leg, collarbone, and a thumb. Okay. Yeah. Right. Hey, quit talking about it. Take care. How are you doing? Good. So what do y'all do? So we are a dealership in Denver. We partner with the Ironman, so we do all after aftermarket accessories, off-road accessories. We're pretty much turned to yeah. yeah. for cars fully built to buy, and then no, also you can stick what you want to go on it. Then we have a fully built out showroom with all things on display. But uh, pretty much everything in house: suspension, wheels, tires, uh, fab work, alignments, all that stuff. Very cool. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, of course. You guys. So how do people how do people find you? Um, let's see, just uh, Google Iron Man and Urban Motors. Iron Man. Oh, and you're going to get Marvel. Yeah. Okay, so how do they find you? As in how? Huh? Your um, address. Your social media. URL. Tell me your URL. Oh, uh, UrbanMotors.com. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
I mean, you are being recorded, so I, I was hoping you maybe uh, people could. Oh, they're going. Well, how do we find Iron Man? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Thank you. Yeah, Have a good no day. problem. This is the only green race in the park. Do me a favor, turn that down. That way I don't get hit with copyright. <laughs> okay, what is that? So this is a turtle box. Okay? Yeah. This is the only green grape speaker on the market. It's the only what now? A green grape speaker. Okay. It's the only green grape speaker on the market. It's 100% waterproof and it floats. So if it's in water, you're actually gonna find it. Okay. okay. Um, full volume, you get about 10 to 12 hours of play time. Anything below full volume, you're gonna know, get about Two to three days, days of playtime, realistically. Oh, that's just terrible. Yeah, I know. <laughs> to charge it, you crack this thing open right here. That barrel in the middle is going to be your charger. You have the ability to do a mic. I'm going to do karaoke while you got tunes playing. So, do you charge it with the USB C? So, that USB C is actually running out. So, oh. that's going to allow you to charge your phone or a device from the, the battery itself. So, you just need the trip to charge, and that way it charges the battery right to the right capacity. Right. Um, and since it's nine lithium ion battery, so it takes about two to three hours to get a full charge. But, like I said, you're going to have it. For How much do these things cost? $3.99. $3.99. Sir. And if people wanted to find where these are, where can they find you? Turtleboxaudio.com. You Say that a little bit louder. Turtleboxaudio.com. Okay. You can go on Academy. You can go on Amazon. Uh, you can go on Steelers. And then Ace Hardware. We're all over the country. And then we're in about 500 different retailers all across the nation. So. Pretty cool. Pretty I'll have to just be a link down below. And what was your name, sir? Rex Covington. Rex Covington, right? Yeah. I've been, I've been on the road for six years full time on my motorcycle oh. pulling a camper. And... Uh, I've been raising awareness and money for the cure to diabetes in memory of my son. And, uh, well, what speaker do you want, Craig? Do I now? What speaker do you want? What speaker do you want? Are you really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just... What color? You want to take it home with you or you can send it? Uh, no, I can take it home. Orange. Orange? You got it? How's it going? Good, how are you? <laughs> you mind telling me a little bit about this? Sure. So this right here is the Pecos table. Yeah. This, the Pecos table is an indestructible portable table, so the legs stow inside like this. They come out like a sword, and then we have a quarter turn lock thread. So all you gotta do to put the table together is one quarter turn, and then you're locked and ready to go. And then each leg has about an inch and a half of adjustability right here, okay. as well as an orbital fit, so you can always find stability. Very cool. I like that part. Yes, sir. And that's all you're selling? We're selling tables, and then our table is really more than a table. It's a workstation. Yeah. And the way we've done that is by creating a series of attachments. So right here, you can see the attachments have this little clip. Oh, very cool. They clip onto the table. You can kind of customize it to be your own workstation. But we have this hook, a utility basket, trash bag, paper towel holder, and beverage holder. That is pretty darn slick. So. How much do these run for? The table is six eighty nine. Six eighty nine. Yes, sir. And how do people find you? So we're our website is www.pecosoutdoor, and then our Instagram is the same deal. It's Pecos Outdoor. P E C O S. That was a pretty slick table. Expensive, but pretty slick. We can answer any questions you have there, sir. If you like. What do y'all do? We do video surveillance. Video security. Oh, really? And, uh, and thermal imaging uh, from your vehicle. And you can monitor your vehicle from anywhere you have internet, or if you're on board, somebody else can do that. Uh, if you are, you know, camping out, and there's a person your vehicle, each signature will uh, trip the loop. That is pretty slick. But more importantly, you could be driving down the road and see the heat signature off, off to the right, and you'll know that there's something there. Maybe it'll slow down before I go deer. Yeah. Right. A million different examples. I can give you, but there's a couple of them. Well, I was, I'm more concerned of having that on the vehicle. I like it if I have to go I go hiking or something. 100%. And I, and it, yeah. I would uh, be a little bit more... Uh, 
secure. You yeah, I mean, secure. There, there's it's a little easier. There's nothing a hundred percent, but know. you know, there, there, there's more That's good, close. there's more good people out there than there's bad. Well, but I mean, the bad people certainly will do something. You hear more about them. Yes. So, how do people find you? I'm recording this. By oh, way. how do they find me? Uh, you go to ghost, okay. ghostoverland.com. Okay. That's our website. Uh, we have uh, a, a very nice site with all the pricing available out there. And uh, so, what's an average price on? The base system is uh, $39.99. That includes four cameras, the camera controller, yeah. the screen, uh, our excellent world-class technical right. server, uh, and the brain box that you see in the, uh, in the, in the case. Very cool. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank I'm you. glad I stopped because that's something I might I'm be looking in. Sure, so what is the ladies' off-road network? So Ladies Off Road Network is 100% education based for ladies all over the country. So I teach online every single day and I teach um, all hands on. Yeah. Between Arizona and Noah. Very cool. Great times. Well, how can people find you? Uh, Ladiesoffroadnetwork.com where we also have our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Bauer Media YouTube. Awesome. Yes. So much fun. I'm a oh. certified trainer, and everything is uh, education at the top level. Well, very cool. Yeah. Good you. thing to do for ladies. So, Absolutely. Thank you, Rex. I appreciate you. Thank Take you. care. I've had I've had uh, version one, two, three. One, two, three. I still have those, and I've done videos on that to review. Yeah, because unless you have a quarter or just a really long. Well, no, I show mail. I show you what I carry to mm -hmm. to change the batteries out. Yeah. Um, there you go. Yeah, something like that. But I don't want to do that. Yeah, I agree. I want the D rings back. I agree. Yeah. And I, I'm 60. What do you know, right? No, 360 for the service. For the service, but the, the units included. Okay. Hey, yeah. In 2009, I hit the 911 button in Dap Valley. Nice. And 30 minutes later, the cavalry came. Oh, yeah. You didn't have a mule? No, I was not on a mule. Well, they carry water. Well, that's oh. true, but I was on. <laughs> I like that. I like you already. <laughs> no, I was on a motorcycle and it blew, blew up. Yeah, I'm recording. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the back tire just went boom and it. Size back. Bike went down and went into there. pieces. Well, I just want to tell you, these things are awesome. I always have one. Good, good. And uh, it's on my bike over there right now. Perfect. I guarantee you, these things are awesome. It got me out of the sand on the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Well, on my on wagon. on my motorcycle. Was on the sand of the beach. Well, I was on my motorcycle too. So there you go. Yeah. Okay, just rubbing it in a little yeah. more. Yeah. Okay. But these things are awesome. You should buy one. We, really? We need one. I got a green one. Green? Yeah. Uh, you have I'm the, just you have the small one, right? I had the small motorcycle one. Well, I'm glad y'all are doing good. That's awesome. So why people like our stuff? Yeah. It's, it's the same as on YouTube. The main thing, if you use it for traction, flat side down. Always remember that. Get that underneath your tire. Get it under there far enough. It's, it goes super, super slow. Use a low gear. Slowly accelerate in that auto feed. Let this do the work. So if you if you get a little aggressive on the accelerator, you just it, get it you know, if it Yeah, can't, shoot it out like a bullet, behind, yeah. like a rocket behind Even you. Even the max tracks. <laughs> and for leveling? For leveling, the main thing to remember with leveling is always keep your approach panel flat on the ground. So you hold it up this way, you roll, that way your vehicle's kind of painting it down. So say that's four inches, say you want three, rather than leaving this hanging, 
Just flip it so it's laying flat on the ground. Ah, ah, so you don't break it. And you know what? They make good kickstand things to put yeah, on the tree. I use that on my bike. I'm yeah, like, all the time. Oh, yeah. So I don't wake yeah, up yeah. in the morning. I ride as yeah. well. I get it. And then online. GoTreads.com. There you go. How you doing? Good. Aaron at uh, GoTread told me to come over here and bug the hell out of you. Oh. <laughs> the guys over there. GoTreads? GoTreads. Oh. They're our neighbors. They're hey. neighbors. All right. Yeah, that's what he said. I got that on video. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, these guys are great. They help me out and stuff. Um, yeah, they are. My name's Rex, by the way. Hey, Rex and Box. Uh, I'm getting ready. You delete that and on the witness. Oh, I'm not going to. Grandma oh. want them to see me. Are you serious? No. <laughs> I shouldn't be out here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm building a van, but I'm getting ready to build the van out, and I was thinking about doing the 80 20 extrusion. But okay. I know 80 20 is right, a right, company right, name. Right, right, right. But yeah. So y'all do this kind of stuff. And I was thinking maybe doing the bed platform with it and then building out a, a little cabinet area in that van. There's not a lot of room in a Chevy Astro. So. Uh, but that's what I was thinking about doing. Do y'all do that kind of stuff, sell it, or do y'all just we, sell? We do sell and the, the bars and, and uh, different components and stuff. A lot of the stuff is going to be specific to the, the head racks and things. That we do. A lot of that stuff is is pretty universal, too. We do have 90 degree angles and different things that, that well, and to, lend themselves to those types of things. In fact, we just help these guys down the way with a trailer that they built. It's certain things, but it's going to be kind of more of a DIY approach from your angle. Well, that's I already know that. Okay. Yeah, that's okay, yeah. that's that's the. Yeah, I know. Not, I know. I'm going to be building it out unless okay. I find somebody that has free things. I can just. Yeah. Okay. And I would think that with your, your build too, you wouldn't need so much of the like, 1530 series stuff. Like, like, three inch, like, you know, <laughs> Hey, I'm Box Jabari with Extrusion Overland, and uh, come check out our stuff at uh, extrusionoverland.com. It's extrusion-overland.com, and uh, check out the new exoskeleton bed rack and uh, our XTR1 and XTR3 bed rack systems. Awesome. The link will be down below. You can get a hold of these guys if you need them. Thanks, man. Thank you. Bye. How are you doing, sir? Good. I did a video on y'all guys. Oh, you did? Two years ago. Did we look pretty? No. No, we're no I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, it was a good video. That's a good one. Yeah. No, but yeah, I got some new stuff. That's you good. know what? I was really surprised. I was at this gas station in the middle of nowhere. And they they, were, they had a little stand of that stuff up there. We're everywhere. We're literally. <laughs> hey, guys, listen. We're here in Arizona. At the Overland Colorado, Expo Colorado. in Colorado. Colorado. We got all the product clean for six different scents: peppermint, coconut, citrus, lavender, tea tree, and scent free. And a new one: lemongrass and citron oil. It's enough. Three year shelf life. They don't dry out, baby. They stay wet for three years. And this is 11 by 11. It will cover your full body. Now they come in the 12 pack on this one, and it's a variety pack. Or you can get the big boy, 120 wipes. Or you can just pick one scent. You can find us. Let me see if I have the thing. Here, cleanfreak.com. I mean, you can just show the, the 10 here. No, yeah, that's cool. Cleanfreak.com or Amazon. Go get them. And we're probably in uh, we're Shields, Ace Hardware. We're probably in a store close to your town, so go check it out. In the middle of nowhere at a in gas station. Nowhere, yeah. And stay <laughs> clean, guys, you know. Don't get dirty. Awesome. Their link will be down below in the description. Appreciate it. Oh, thank what you. What was your name again? Ben. Ben. All right. Nice Thanks, Ben. You, What's your name? Rex. 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 How's it going? What's happening? All right, I love y'all stuff. So, hey, go good ahead. morning. My name is Brett. We're with Kelty, based out of Boulder, Colorado. Uh, we've been around since 1952 here at Overland Expo and kind of showing some of our furniture. Um, we have our roadie life accessories for kitchen and cooking. Um, we have our shelters. This is our high road shelter. Uh, kind of come and see us, talk to us, what we have going on. And yeah, we're, we're available at Kelty.com. Their stuff is awesome, and their their uh, their link will be down in the description below. 
Very cool. I got several of their stuff. Awesome, awesome company. Yeah, I'll come. We'll come and swing by. And well, you know that that uh that biggie blanket yeah. and the bestie. Yeah. The one thing that is so cool about that. Yeah. If it's cold, yeah. it'll keep it's, you warm. It keeps, okay, good. I used to have yeah. to take out my electric blanket and plug okay. it in twelve volt. Good. You can and, wrap up in the biggie. Yeah. But I just put the biggie on it. I'm Brian. I'm with Temo Tusk. Uh, we make fridge slides. We also make scottles for cooking on down there. Uh, we're American manufacturer that makes adventure here. It's top quality stuff, lasts forever. Awesome, so how do people find you? Uh, you can find us online at tembotusk.com. You can follow us on Instagram, same thing, Tembo, at tembotusk. We're on YouTube, or TikTok. I mean, hell, I don't know where you couldn't find us. We're all we're all over the place out there. Awesome, appreciate right. it. Thanks, man. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate it, Rex. Take care. Thank you, sir. Oh, excuse me. What's going on, man? Good how you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, this is the barn guys with the uh, so, awesome uh, bed rolls. <laughs> so we, so what, uh... Hey Tim, how are you, sir? Good. Sure. I have one of your Max fans. Okay. Without the uh, rainproof thing. All right. But it does close when it rains. So that's good, right? Yeah. Good. Do you want one of my rain my rain shields? Ah. Uh, well, I'm getting ready to switch to a van. Okay. And of course, I'm going to want one of those to put on top, so I'll be purchasing one of those. Okay. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I just stopped by and thought I'd say hello. Well, please do. Well, I'll tell you what, when you get ready to purchase it. Yeah. Call or text me and I'll call my sister company at Max Air and tell them to make you a hell of a deal. I appreciate that big time because I love that thing. It keeps the trailer cool. It does. It does. It, when, when, if you don't have AC, that's a, that's, a, that's a nice little thing. We sell a bunch of those. Yeah, I don't have AC in there. Yeah. I will have AC in, in the, the van. Sure. In the van. Yeah. Well, how, I how can you do? And how can people find you on what you do here online? Or? Oh, Eric Sell is our parent company. So we've got seven sister companies. We do everything from sinks to heaters to air conditioners to water heaters. Yeah. But Eric Cell is our main parent company and then our seven uh, our sister companies are listed up back on my cards. Okay, well I got your cards. Yeah. yeah. All of those there. Okay, well very cool. Uh, I'll put their link down in the uh, description so you can find these people. Please, that would be ideal. Absolutely. I will uh, when you get ready to purchase, call or text me and I'll talk to our Max Air people and say, hey, this gentleman's doing good for the world. Let's let's help him out something. All right. I really do appreciate it. You bet. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks. Kind of the same. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's yeah, like, like middle-aged white guy. I was talking to him. Are you, are you still doing your uh, other uh, presentation? I, I did it already this morning. At okay. Well, I was telling a girl about yeah. your your how you enlightened me. Yeah. And she said, "Well, I'll check it out." So, yeah. No, it was so, ten o'clock this morning. I yeah. Okay. Well, she missed it. Hi. Hi. Huh? It's my friend Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Yeah, I don't have a raid. Yeah. Thank you. She doesn't have a raid yet. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I got a spare 50 grand. There you go. That's freaking awesome. Yeah. I bet it doesn't fly. The, the flames at least come out of the butt. Like, yeah. I'm Later, Scott. Is there... See ya. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah, or thank you. Yeah. Get one, one of those added to the fleet. Yeah, it looks looks really good on you. I'm doing a video here. It looks really good on you. Yeah. Go brum brum. brum, uh, brum. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> He'll do anything you tell him, won't he? Uh, yeah, if you uh, take it up. Put in reason. Like you read an article right now. Are you filming all this? I have to ask you. It's always. Uh, you can't miss anything, right? Yeah. All right, I'll see you guys later. That's where I did my session right there. What makes this different from all trailers is one you have a whole bunch of hype or all teardrop trailers. I can't do that in mine. You have a good <laughs> amount of height for yeah. like taking off your pants and just changing it and everything. But also we have slat walls, so you're able to accessorize the trailer however. You oh, want. very cool. Yeah. So for us, we'd have maybe a mirror or.
How's it going? It's going good. How are you doing? Good questions about this stuff. Yeah. Tell me about them. Yeah. So their Rapon is a Japanese company that makes Japanese toilets. Yeah. And they didn't have any uh, good solutions for like disaster construction, camping, or elder care. So they came out with a film style toilet that. What do you mean by film style? So film. Uh, is a bag style. Okay. So what this does, it has a, uh, a a bag system that goes around here, which is just basically a long tube that's rolled up, and you put it around here. You put it in. You hit the button, and it creates the first bag. Really? Yep. Sucks it in. Can we see that? Uh, is that too much to ask for? No. I can do it for you. Yeah. Does it talk to you in Japanese? This one does. Um, <laughs> yeah. so, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I had this bag out to show people, so let me just seat the bag in there. Would make, you'd hit the button, it would make the first bag. This one probably is already done, but then oh, it's a remote. So you just went to the bathroom, it's going to pull that down, and it's going to do its thing. And then it takes, it's doing a countdown now, as, as you'll see. So what it does, it heats up, and it, it seals that bag, yeah. cuts the bag, and it makes the next bag for the next user all in one. That's freaking awesome. So it is. And so it uses very little plastic, where other film style, you got to tie a knot, you have to uh, do a zip, or you got to twist. Yeah. And then it goes into another bag that you hope nothing leaks and you always smell them. The beauty of sealing it, it seals in all the gases, odors, leaks, uh, or, or fluids and solids. Very cool. Yeah. So how much does one of these run? These are fifteen ninety five. Yeah. Yep, they are pricey, but you can see the case, you know, it's an aluminum case. Yeah, I see that. Fully well built, uh, it's something you could toss around and, uh, you know, it's not going to just bust up on your brake. You know, they make it very robust. And that's your seal. And it doesn't smell. Of course, there's nothing in there. <laughs> this one, you have an individual bag system that's rolled up. And... It's got cardboard on it, so you clip the cardboard in into the back in the front, and then you you pull this manually compress it. A uh, little light here is red, saying it's sealing. Yeah, it turns green and beeps after. This one only takes about ten seconds. You release it. And then you have this is folded up and sealed right across just like that. Oh, well, awesome! So this one is super lightweight. This is your whole toilet, and that goes into a, a bag system like this. And that just all goes. It breaks down, falls down. We have a battery that you could put, uh, put it into, so you could carry it out in the woods, use it out in the woods. And how much do those run? These are five ninety five. Well, let's get down to my price range. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot more affordable. Well, we have a, a great website, and it's uh, wraponusa.com. Okay, that's a good name. And uh, yeah, I'll have the uh, links down below. And uh, yeah, I think that's freaking cool. So. Uh, hey. had a great time there at the Overland Expo Mountain West in Loveland, Colorado. Uh, did a lot of raising awareness for the cure to diabetes, uh, which was awesome. And if y'all ever get a chance to uh, check out the Overland Expo, they have four or five of them now, I think, uh, throughout the country at different times of the year. So check that out. I'll have the link down below. Catch y'all on the road here in Loveland, Colorado at the, well, I'm not in Loveland, Colorado right now, but I will catch you there next year at the Overland Expo in Loveland, Colorado.